Now we've reached the end of our worksheet where we're going to work on our analogous colors. Going back to our color wheel, analogous refers to three or more neighboring colors on our color wheel. If we have green, yellow green, yellow, and yellow orange, all these are right next to each other on the color wheel forming an analogous color scheme. This color scheme is made completely by blending together our various colored pencils in order to get that full range of color. So for this first shape that I'm going to do, I'm going to be using an analogous color scheme that centers around green, meaning I'll be using blue, blue-green, green, yellow-green, green, and yellow in order to complete my form. Another thing I will point out is I'll be using yellow in my highlights because yellow is the brightest color on our color wheel, meaning that it naturally fills that role of our lighter values, with blue being much more of a natural pick for our shaded areas. I'm going to start with our cylinder here. We went over how to identify the areas of value on a cylinder in our complimentary video. I'll put a link to that up in the corner if you need some review on that. So with our light source coming in at this angle this time, our highlight is going to be filled in this area here, and then we will be moving into our darker tones over at this end of our cylinder, which will be that blue range. So in the end, our sphere should look like yellow, yellow green, green, blue green, and then blue at the end here. My first step is always to start by filling in our lightest values first. So I'm going to be using my yellow in order to fill in that highlight and blend into that quarter tone area as well. And just like I mentioned in the previous video on the complementary cylinder, we don't want to end up with just simple streaks of color. We want to have each of our areas blended in smoothly into the next area. You deserve reward. Here is your cat back. Who there's no cat's back for everyone. I had a dog. He's cat now. I've applied a light layer of each color onto my cylinder. The yellow is in the highlight area and starts to mix with the green, which is in the midtone, forming that yellow green quarter tone. The green then moves towards the base tone blending with the blue in the back, making that blue-green in between. I'm using my colored pencils to fill a general area and then letting each color overlap the other one so I can produce those tertiary colors between the yellow and the green and between the green and the blue. As I apply my next layers of color, I am pressing down harder on my colored pencils so I can get those bolder and richer hues. Where my areas of color overlap one another, is where I want to be very intentional about how I blend those colors together. So I'm going over them several times with both colors to make sure that I get those tertiary colors just right. I'm applying the final layers with my pencils and I'm pressing harder so I can get some of those bolder colors out of them. 
Again, I'm trying to be very aware of those places where my colors overlap and I get that yellow green and that blue green area. I want to go over those as much as I can to make sure that they stand out as their own color. Because this cylinder has an open top, the colors on the inside will be a mirror reflection of the colors on our outside. So our yellow will be further away from our light source than on the outside. And then moving to the right, we will transition into the yellow green, the green, the blue green, and finally the blue in the furthest corner. And last but not least, the cast shadow on the outside. I'm going to be blending my blue and green together just so I can get that really dark value. So our final form will be the analogous sphere. We'll be combining the techniques of filling in an analogous color scheme and filling in the areas of value around a sphere. In this color scheme, I've chosen orange, red orange, red, red violet, and violet. And once again, I'm using the naturally brighter colors to be my highlight area, and then the naturally darker colors to be my base tone and cast shadow. I'm applying a soft, rough layer of color into each of my areas of value. Dinner with Fred, dinner alone, watching TV alone. All right. Dinner with Fred, dinner alone, watching TV alone. All right. Dinner with Fred, dinner alone, watching TV alone. All right. And as I go over with more layers, I make sure that each one is overlapping the other one. Wherever I put violet using my colored pencil, I make sure that my red will go over that area just as well. And then wherever my red pencil goes, the orange overlaps that one. And I repeat this until each color is visible. And to finish it off, I fill in the cast shadow using the violet and the red in order to make it darker. And 
this completes our analogous sphere.